I'm always said I had a hard head, a hard head. I had to learn that sometimes this life just ain't fair, blurry vision. For so long I wasn't seeing clear. No disrespect, it tolerated. We go fit when I get fed up with my bitch. I give a hell. Yeah. If I fuck twice, then I got you under my spell. Ain't had no water, they won't leave me to the west. So it's your boy Cash Cup Productions. I'm here with Jay Croft. What up, bro? Go ahead, pop your shit. Shit, you know, Jay Croft, Croft the Wolf, the Big Wolf. You hear me? Shit, what's good with you, bro? What's up, bro? Uh, what you been on? Shit, under construction, bro. Just shit, recording for real. I'm always recording and just getting shit ready to drop for real, for real, and just consistently drop for real. Just getting shit like that ready. For the people that don't know you, just go ahead and introduce yourself. Shit. I go by Jay Croft. You can call me Croft the Wolf. Shit. It don't matter. The Wolf. Big Wolf. Bunch of names. Shit. Whatever you feel comfortable calling me. I'm from... Shit, I was born in Illinois. Like, Southern Illinois. Then, shit, high school, I moved over to St. Louis County. It's a little spot called Florissant. Like... It's St. Louis, it's the same thing. It's St. Louis and St. Louis type shit, but it's the county of St. Louis, city of St. Louis type shit. So over to the county. I, and I went to high school over there and shit at Hazelwood Central and shit where all the bitches went. Low key, that's where all the hot, fine hoes was at my high school, for real. And what was growing up like for you? Shit. Uh, for me, I feel like, I feel like normal in a way type shit. You feel me? Like, I was a normal nigga, play sports type shit, you feel me? Like football, basketball, play baseball to like fifth grade type shit and shit. Normal nigga, I live in the projects, that shit is normal, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. and as a kid, what were you trying to pursue? Shit, I was on mostly on the football tip. I was doing football mostly. Like shit, I was low-key nice. I went to college for football on a scholarship actually type shit. So I played football, but I ain't gonna fake I started rapping young too, so like I always been into music at the same time, you feel me? So I was taking that shit serious at the same time because like shit, I recorded my first mixtape on my own type shit, sixth, seventh grade, you feel me? So I've been serious about the music at the same time, you feel me? Was there anybody that pushed the music shit onto you? Told you like this what this what you should do, you got the talent? Shit, hella people, that's what builds the confidence and shit, you feel me? Like to keep doing this shit and keep going because shit, like I said, since the sixth, fifth grade, you feel me, I've been rapping. That's a long ass time now being 23. So you feel me, it's hella people that just like, bro, you know what I mean? Telling me every time like, bro, you got that shit, you got that shit. So shit, I ain't got no choice but to keep going. And then even when I tried to stop the shit, couldn't really stop it. So that shit just kept me going too, self-driven for real. And when did you first start that shit? Cause you know, I looked and you got a lot of music out, a lot of tapes and shit. So like when did you first start taking that shit serious and dropping tapes? Uh, I would say like, besides like just on some like trying to pop just cause shit, just cause, you know what I mean? I like doing it more so when I was like, all right, we gonna try to do some business and shit. Um, I say like, Probably when I got to college type shit, that's when I really got my first like quality studio type shit, like investing in a stool equipment and shit. I always didn't really kind of record it myself type shit. So I just got, that's when I actually made an investment too. And I was like, shit, I'm gonna be doing this. I was at college playing football, but that shit just wasn't going my way. So nigga was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go, you feel me, rap like I've been doing. So about, about around that time, for real, for real. And that's when I dropped that 300 Miles tape, which was like, my first serious tape, that shit was like on all audio Mac and shit, but like online type shit, real serious actually. 20 songs type shit. And that shit got took serious, for real, for real. And in one interview, somebody said, um, you know, it's really no point in putting out a whole bunch of music. You know, you don't want to oversaturate shit. Like, what's your thoughts on that? You know, putting out a lot of music. Cause you know, everybody can't hear that that song you know that you yeah, did facts. um really <clears throat> i'm on both sides of it because i like you feel me like one i'm passionate <clears throat> about the shit you feel me so i like doing music and shit but now I, that's where i'm at the point right now where it's like 
all right, I done gave out enough free music. You feel me? I do feel, like you said, I got a lot of music online, so I gave out enough free music. So now I'm on that borderline of let's monetize off everything we putting out for real, for real. So, my bad, what was the question when was on? You saying how I feel about what? Like, like a lot of music? Yeah. Bro, I'm on both sides of the fence, because I'm still, you get what I'm saying? I, right now, I'm on some, I got enough music, now we need more exposure at the same time, you feel me? Because people can still go back to the old music at the same time and listen to it, so, you feel me? I, I'm gonna put out less music for now, but like, say at the time that this shit pop, I'm back to 20 song mic tapes. Just because I like, I make that much music and I like putting out the shit that, you feel me? I'm making. Did the corona shit fuck up a lot of shit for you as far as plans and shit? Hell no, that shit made it easier. I need it, like, I need the time, you feel me? I've been taking my time type shit, and like, I was feeling like, damn, I'm taking too much time, you feel me? Like, even though my last drop was like, maybe no November, October last year, it was a tape, I wanna say like nine songs, but that was the last time I dropped, and I've been feeling impatient, like, damn, I need to, I need to drop some, I need to drop some, but at the same time, when this shit came around, it just gave me more time type shit for when the shit do open back up and performances and everything else, you feel me? I can start rolling out everything that I got going on. Even though some people taking advantage of the corona situation, as in like, you feel me? I got all this time, I'm gonna use it for this to get out and shit. Like, I've just been still working and shit and still really just trying to perfect my plan or what I'm trying to get done and then execute that shit for real, for real. What else you been doing? You been trying to like learn new skills and shit? Shit, a little bit. I got a camera and shit. So I be trying to like, I just dropped the video yesterday that I edited and shit. Like I be trying to be self-efficient for real, for real. So shit, I got a camera. I've been trying to work on doing that shit, but that shit, it's harder than what I think. I do got to salute the niggas behind the cameras because that shit not as easy as it seemed like to make a video just look as hard as it can be type shit, for real, for real. All right, and the fact that you drop a lot of music, are you worried that like your best songs might get overlooked? Uh, nah, because like the shit consistent, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I can consistently drop good music. This shit ain't gonna never stop. It ain't, it ain't stopped yet, so I don't think it's gonna ever stop. As long as I keep living, got a story to tell, something to, you know what I mean, somebody to motivate, I'm gonna keep, you know what I'm saying, making music, making good music, because I feel like more so, I got like an ear for the music, so. I feel like I make good music instead of like being a great rapper or being a good singer. I just make good music, you feel me? And I I create instead of just be rapping, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna try to innovate type shit. So the more time that I get to keep creating, I'm gonna make something different every time. The more people I collaborate with and some more shit, two minds together, you know what I mean? It's gonna make different music. It's gonna, I ain't really worried about ever running out of quality music for real. Are you looking to experience with different music? Cause I know you just mentioned singing. Shit, I mean like the music I be doing, it's like a sing rap shit. But like lately, I ain't gonna fake like, I feel like on my last tape I did more singing than rapping. You get what I'm saying? Like if you had to put like, what do you do? If, it, if it's 50-50, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it was more melodic and singing. So I've been really, I've been perfecting that lately. You feel me? Cause like rapping, just rapping with no melody or nothing, that shit like second hand to me is nature, you feel me? I was doing that, I've been doing that for a long time, so just putting the words together is easy. I be trying to grow on songwriting type shit. Are there any artists in the city looking to work with? Any future projects with? I actually got, I got some shit in the works. I got, um, I got tape with Lil Bands. Lil Bands, that's my that's my man's. I fuck with Lil Bands. We uh we got a little collab tape we st working on. I'm trying to just get more songs done. Once I once we get to a certain amount of songs, we'll pick some songs and we'll put them out for real, for real. But we got a tape. We already got tape recorded type shit. Like we got enough music for a whole tape. But we gonna keep going and then that's gonna come out soon. And it's a bunch of motherfuckers I want to collab with, though, for sure. I'm going to try to do a lot of collabing, too. That's why I've been taking the time to get my own music done. I got enough music to drop for the rest of the year type shit. So now I'm going to start networking, trying to collab with people and fucking with other people, getting more of that type of music done because I got enough of my own music. Mm -hmm. And you're from St. Louis County? Yeah. That's Illinois? Nah, that's in Missouri. That's in Missouri? All yeah. Right, so what's the culture like over there compared to over here? Shit, what you mean, like rap, like type like shit? Lifestyle. Lifestyle? Shit, I mean, I feel like 
the shit normal everywhere. You get what I'm saying? I'm the way I think and some more shit. It's gonna be a hood everywhere. It can be a project everywhere. Niggas can get killed everywhere. Niggas, you get what I'm saying? Anything can happen anywhere. So I ain't gonna. I, I feel like the shit really the same everywhere. You get what I'm saying? You gotta stay on your p's and q's at all times, no matter what. No matter where you go, type shit. So I ain't gonna even look at it that type of way. You get what I'm saying? Like it's a difference, cause it's not. It's a little more lax down here, but I am gonna. You know what I mean? Stay on my p's and q's, cause the shit can happen anywhere. So the culture, the same shit. You feel me? Everywhere. It's hood niggas everywhere. It's you feel me? Trappers, hustlers, pimps, players, ballers everywhere. You feel me? So it's the same shit. You, you know what I mean? Like every city you go to, you gotta adjust to the environment type shit. You yeah, you you definitely gotta adjust to the environment, what's going on, and that's more so geographics where you at. You get what I'm saying? Like I said, because you can end up in the projects anywhere. You can end up in the hood anywhere. You feel me? In any city, any state, any place. So, shit, I don't really feel like. You know what I mean? It's, you got to adapt, period, in any situation. You feel me? That's the best characteristic you can ever have is to adapt, to be able to, you feel me? When adversity come, you got to adapt. You feel me? When shit don't go your way, all that shit, you got to be able to adapt and continue to go because you're trying to get somewhere else. You feel me? If you stop right there. All right. So out of all the tapes you put out, which one would you say was the most you improved on? Mm. Improved, like the better music on it. The most improved, yeah. Um, better music quality. Yeah, quality, everything. I was just about to say that. Yeah, that's what I was about to get to. I would have to say probably 10 a.m. in Miami. It, it's the best sounding, as in quality, from lyrics and content to the way it sound. I would have to say 10 a.m. in Miami. That was probably my most quality work for real, for real. Who's some of the artists popping out of uh, Missouri? Missouri. Shit, to be honest, it's a couple it's a couple niggas I'll be really watching like the niggas that's extra big, but shit, if you go look, it'd be like Jizzle Bucks, LA Foes, um, Three Problems, shit. You got a couple you wanna throw in? Shit, it's this little nigga name, uh what's that little nigga? Nooski Two Squad. Mm -hmm. Nooski Two Squad, uh y'all I know y'all seen them thirty deep grimy niggas. You get what I'm saying? And yeah, what's the other nigga name? C Murder. Yeah, C -murder. yeah. The Comethazine nigga, he from around that way. <coughs> yeah. yeah, it's a couple it's a couple niggas popping. You feel me? That's but they they make low key like St. Louis type music for real, for real. Like it's more so like a drill sound in music, like 808 bass bumping type music. They don't make like my type of music, but it's niggas where I'm from that make my type of music. All right. So do you feel like you gotta adjust to the type of music that's made out here, or you know you're just gonna stick with the same sound and just keep going with that? Uh, I. Nah, I ain't. I ain't gonna fake it. Like I like, I like using auto tune. I ain't gonna fake it. I enjoy that shit. You feel me? Some people tell me like, hey, why don't you turn that shit down? You kind of got a decent voice and shit. But I just like using it. So I'm gonna probably continue to stay in the lane that I'm in. I do rap. You feel me? When I want to type shit. But I, it ain't too often where I'm like, I'm trying to rap. Just like rap on a song. So I like the lane that I'm in. I ain't gonna really adapt. Cause at the same time, you know what I mean? The internet's so powerful, it don't matter where you at type shit when you making music, you feel me? If you gonna stream it online either way, so that's how I feel about that. Everybody, anybody can hear my music because I can put it out to where it can be heard by anybody, really. All right, so are a lot of your songs from experience? I bet. Hell yeah, just really, Shit, if you go listen to really the 10 a.m. Miami, that mixtape, that shit might be the realest shit I'd never wrote. Like, I'm talking about, I'm dropping names and some old shit, so you know it's, you feel me? You know it's real. You get what I'm saying? And yeah, I'll be just speaking off experience. Some of that shit, I mean, shit, you gotta understand, we all got our own set of eyes, and I might see that shit more extreme than the next person, or the next person might feel like, you know what I mean, if they saw the same shit that I saw, it's more extreme, and they might you, paint a more vivid picture of how they saw the shit, but it's definitely, you know what I'm saying, what I done been through. Mm -hmm. Like, what's some of the things that, that, that that's on the tape that, that we can learn about you? These damn hoes, man. 
that's that's about it you feel me like that's that's majority of, of my music i will say my bad but it's like i will say that's a lot of the music is about females you know what i mean just what i done been through with females you gonna hear hustling you get what i'm saying just the life of a hustler bouncing back from losses you get what i'm saying the usual shit you feel me is music shit shit i go through every single day you feel me are you always making music or you got to be in the mood to do that shit see that's exactly i i actually do be i gotta be in the mood to do it like a vibe type shit for real for real. like i i try to do music every day I ain't gonna lie, I definitely try to do music every single day. I try to sit down, at least listen to beats, try to pick out some beats. I try to record every day because I got my own studio and shit, so I try to do that shit every day, but if I don't force no music. Like, when people be, you know what I mean, like talking to me about music, like all my partners, they hear me, I start something, and I might do half the song, three fourths of the song, but it ain't finished. I won't even like take it off my computer. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't gonna just mix down half a song and listen to it in the car. Like you feel me? It's just whenever it get done, it get done, and that's how my music come out quality though, cause I don't never force no music. Do you have a lot of shit in the stash? Yeah, yeah. I got I got a lot of lot of music, a shit ton like. I ain't released, I just released the first time, the first, this is the first video since like November 2, like so, that's the first song since November, that's like five months, if I got a stew at my crib every day, you feel me, even if I only do it once a week, only record one song a week, it's been a bunch of weeks since November, so I got a, I got a decent amount of songs, and then I just got a producer, so I really just been trying to lock in with him and get more original content, because shit, if I got 50, 100 songs with other niggas beats, them beats be like $30 a piece. That shit gonna add up eventually. So it's just more so about what we gonna put out. Mm, and how you coming for 2020? I'm still trying to figure it out. That's why I said I'm trying to get this plan together every day because I really, at one point I wanted to put out like, I was watching uh, Hip Hop Evolution and shit. I don't know if y'all ever saw shit, it's on Netflix and shit. Yeah, and I was watching the, um. I was watching the motherfucking DJ Screw one, and they was just talking about how that nigga just kept putting out tapes. Like, every week, the nigga put out a mixtape, put out a mixtape, just forcing that shit in your face. And I really, I want to take that approach, you feel me? I would want to just do a bunch of mixtape, a bunch of collab tapes with motherfuckers and everything. Like, because, like I said, I got the stool for myself, so just, we can lock in at any time and get the shit done. And it's a quality studio and everything, so I'm really trying to do that shit, for real, for real. Just drop a bunch of music. I'm going to continue to drop a bunch of music. I guess I can't get away from what I'm telling you, you know what I mean? I'm trying to. But I'm going to do it the right way, essentially. And is anybody else rapping around you, or is it just you right now? Uh, shit, hell yeah. I mean, I know hella niggas that rap. Like, I ain't yeah, gonna... Yeah, but I'm talking about like, your circle. In a circle? Everyday, everyday people type shit. Yeah. Um, I ain't gonna fake it, my brother rap. But that nigga, he, he just got out the military and shit. So he was just rapping on the low key. But that nigga didn't record it, like, 40, 50 tracks on my computer. So that nigga be rapping. Then my other partner, Guap, you feel me? That nigga, he be rapping, shit. Besides that, I fuck with little bands heavy. Him and Bob, I fuck with both of them niggas heavy. So, you feel me? We be tapped in. So we be recording a lot. Besides that, shit. Not, not on no everyday shit. I know other rappers though around here that I fuck with on a heavy tip, but not on no everyday shit. Them the people that I really be locked in and stew with. What's some things you want to improve on as an artist? Like as in with my music? Yeah, with everything. It can be music, business, whatever. Business. That's that's what my focus being. That's what I'm saying. Like just, I got to monetize this shit. I've been doing it for too long to not be really making money off of it. And at the, like, the quality of music that I be putting out. So I've really just been trying to find that path for real, for real. That's what's been taking me so long to put shit out because I'm like, I got so much music out. I don't want to keep putting music out for free. But at the same time, you can't just stop putting shit out too. How much money is it gonna take for you to sign a deal? Ooh we like just like like the advance type shit. Yeah. See? I ain't trying to do it. I saw somebody, I forgot who interview they was talking about. 
how they was just really talking about how taking less of money is easier you feel me so it'd just be really it'd probably be lesser amount you feel me because if i get a certain amount i could put a budget together myself and a plan together where i feel like i could get one you know what i mean from just how i do the vids to a feature you know what i mean what i would spend the budget on type shit i could do that myself and you know you know what i mean get on plus i also got other people that I speak to that help me out with the shit that also got actually some, you know what I mean, a foot in the industry and they know what's going on. So it's shit, I'll take a low amount, small contract, you feel me, and make it happen. Then after that, we can reevaluate what's going on, you feel me? Because I feel like I could sell myself if I, you know what I mean, if I had that lump sum of money type shit to put budget behind the music, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. And how'd you come up with the name, j Crawl? Shit, really is my Dick Dave that motherfucker gay to me like in middle school, but it's really like my first initial last name. You feel me? So that's just what motherfuckers was calling me, cause like shit, my first name hella common one, and then it's like two syllables. You know how people just try to get nicknames to make it shorter. So really, people call me mostly. Most people call me Croft. You know what I'm saying? They don't even put the J in front of it. So. So where the wolf come from? Shit, we only love family. You feel me? That's what that shit mean. And that's my, my brother started that shit up. You feel me? Type shit. And it's just, that's the vibes. You feel me? We only love the family. That's it. So who do you look up to in the rap game? <sighs> Couple niggas. Um, I'm gonna say like, musically, like sound. My sound more so inspired by like a gate sound. You know what I mean? Uh, I fuck with Baby. Lil Baby. You feel me? Feel like he got decent sale. Business, like more so nip, you feel me? Just on so cutting the middleman out of a lot of shit, more so, and then where I'm trying to take the shit to. You feel me? Because I really ain't trying to sign no, no deal like that. Like, that ain't really what I've been planning on doing, you feel me? So it's like at this point, it's just like, I'm gonna keep hustling keep doing what I'm trying to do, you feel me, and making this shit happen, and really consistency key, you feel me, and people also like to see the growth, so I'ma just get this shit authentic to them, you feel me, and they gonna see the growth, and it's gonna happen. So you but, trying to build your own, my bad, you trying to build your own yeah. label? Yeah, I got my own label. Oh, okay, what's it called? Ocean Dry Dreams. Okay, bad, yeah. bad. So who's the artist in it? Just me, for real. Like, I ain't gonna fake it to you, shit. I ain't had niggas try to try to sign me, you know what I'm saying, or try to get a situation done, you know what I'm saying, and they ain't pulled up on me, and I was just like, I was listening to it, and it ain't even make no sense, you know what I'm saying, they ain't got shit to offer, you know what I'm saying, they can't offer me nothing, you feel me, I'm trying to work on me, so right now, I ain't got nobody, you know what I mean, I can't offer nobody son to be like, bruh, sign a contract, that don't even make no sense, and I don't got shit to offer. You feel me? I ain't offering you nothing. Like, at the same time, yeah, I can offer you studio time, videos, and all that. But, like, for real, for real, ain't nobody trying to sign no damn contract. You feel me? So, I ain't going to put no contract in nobody's face. I ain't even that type of nigga. But if you fuck with me, you can get the perks of what's going on, and we can build something. You know what I mean? To get where we need to go to. You feel me? And if you do some fuck shit, that's on you. You feel me? And, shit, I'm going to keep it pushing, going to where I'm going type shit. But... Nah, I ain't really signing nobody on my label. It's just me. It's just more so a thing like, shit, it's good to have an LLC anyways. You feel me? Because, no offense, but these white people, they be out here finessing that shit, all type of tax breaks and some other shit. So, you feel me? It's good to have an LLC. Is there anybody that taught you, like, the business side of the music, or are you just learning? I got a, I got a partner, right? We used to be up in like a group type shit, like in high school type shit. I was the youngest nigga in the group, so he a little bit older than me. But him and another nigga in the group, they had uh, went off, did their own shit type shit. And like shit, that nigga was managing them type shit. And he got that nigga into like a situation with T.I. and them and shit. So shit, really, it didn't fall through the way they wanted it to. But you feel me, that also made, he made more connection. He continued doing what he was doing. He got to see inside the industry what's going on and shit. And he always be dropping game on me for real, for real. So that's who I'll be going to for help and shit. All right, yo. It's your boy Tribal Vision with the man Croft the Wolf. All right, so 
first question, I'm just going to really ask about you yourself, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm going to ask about your music, but mostly I'm going to be coming at you. Yeah. So, you know, growing up, what was life like for you? You know what I'm saying? Like, what emotional struggles did you face? Shit, I ain't no emotional person, mm -hmm. so I ain't going to say, you know what I mean? Like, I'll be looking back at it now, like, and I'll be analyzing shit, looking back like, damn, that shit might have fucked me up a little bit, or that might have, but... I, at the time, I ain't really noticed type shit, and I can't really say. You know what I mean? It, I wouldn't want to blame it on it. At, at, you know what I mean? Now, looking back on it, you know what I'm saying? As an adult type shit, it might not have even been like that, but you feel me? Shit, emotion, shit, none, bro. I ain't an emotional person. I always feel like the world ain't going to stop spinning for me. You feel me? So I try to, I am, I am, I can't say I ain't an emotional person, but you know what I mean? Like, I show emotion type shit, but like, as far as like, being sad and shit, I, I usually try to cut that to a minimum. You get what I'm saying? Because that shit is not productive. You feel me? What major controversies have you faced in your life? Shit. A bunch. What Child were support. The ones that <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Facts. You, hear, you hear me? Facts, nigga. Ain't no cap. Like, I'm in more so like that led up to this music shit. Like, what controversy in your life told you, you know what, yeah, rap, you know what I'm saying, I'm finna do this? Nah, shit, it was a little nigga on the, on, in the projects came up to me with a motherfucking beat tape, and I took that motherfucker, I had to do something for the talent show, shit, and since then, shit, all the little teachers was like, oh my goodness, that was great, I made it all school appropriate and shit, but they was like, that's great, that's great, and then everybody else was like, bro, that shit hard, you feel me, and at the time, wasn't nobody rapping, so, shit, I just took that shit, and I kept going. You feel me, for real. So it wasn't no controversy like that made me want to do the shit. It was just in me, for real. At this point, that's how I feel. It's in me. Right. Yeah. How long you been rapping? Since the fifth grade. So that's like, bro. I want to say right now that might be like twelve, thirteen years. You feel me? From the first time I ever wrote my first rap. So you do write your own music? Yeah, I write all my music, all of it. How do you feel about rappers that say like, nah, freestyling is better than writing? Shit, kudos to them. I ain't gonna fake it. If I could freestyle like some niggas, I know I know some niggas that can come off the top and really tear some shit down, you feel me? Like spit. And I'm sure other niggas know niggas like that, you feel me? So yeah, I don't bro, I stay in my lane. I don't really do too much of like hating shit, you feel me? So if a nigga wanna freestyle, you feel me? I'm gonna sit there and listen to you, cause I ain't jumping in there. I'm not a freestyler. You feel me? That's not that's not what I do. Right. If I get high enough, I might freestyle with you. But no, nah, I ain't no freestyler, cause I know niggas that really go when they get on the mic. You feel me? So Missouri, correct? Yeah. That's a big. That's a transition. Why? Uh, why Texas? What made you come to Texas? Shit, my brother. Both of my brothers stay down here. I had one in Dallas, and I got one down here in San Antonio. I was in Dallas for like two, three months before I came down to San Antonio. So I was up there. I was chilling up there and shit. And I came down here, and I, he was supposed to be getting deployed. You feel me? So I was just gonna be watching his house and shit. The nigga never got deployed. <laughs> you hear me? But I'm down here now. And now I, I got here. I'm like shit. It is what it is. You get what I'm saying? By, and it was more comfortable when I got down here than Dallas, for real, for real. Or I'll be back in Dallas because I fuck with like the environment and shit more there. But, I, you know what I mean? It's comfortable here, so I ain't tripping. Right now, I'm just trying to get to where I'm going. Do you feel like you could take off as a, an artist inside of the city? In San Antonio? Yeah. Shit, I, I, I do. Like, I mean... I see it happening. It can happen, possibly, with the, you know what I mean, with the right support, with the right things going the right way, the right connections, networking, you feel me? And people keeping their egos to themselves and shit, you feel me? Teamwork make the dream work. If I get the right shit going on here and the right people, working with the right people here, for sure, for sure. How do you feel, like, what do you think is, like, how do you feel on the support of the city, like? How do you feel about San Antonio's support system behind local artists? Um, I ain't, I ain't really got to see it like that, so I don't want to put no judgment on it. I ain't trying to even be like on the fence about it. You get what I'm saying? Like from the shows, cause I didn't be been to some shows that was hard. You feel me? That niggas had the shows packed out, and I've been to some shows that it might have been the same person that the show was not packed out. You get what I'm saying? So I ain't seen. I ain't seen enough to to really speak on the support, and I don't be really watching, 
You know what I mean? Like, I ain't in the comments looking for somebody to say, he putting on for San Antonio. You, right. you get what I'm saying? So I can't really see what's going on besides, you know what I mean? I ain't put out enough music also. I only been here for like a mm, year and a half now. Mm. You feel me? So, and shit, I got here, actually it's almost two years, but I got here in like July, you feel me? I ain't do my first show that year until November, December. You get what I'm saying? So that was already half a year wasted. Like just cause I ain't know nobody, I ain't know what was going on type shit. You feel me? So by the time I even got to really get on some music shit, it's only been like a year from this point for real, for real. Year and a couple months. So within your time period of being in San Antonio, yeah. like, what is your take on the city? Just within the time that you've had to been in here, like within the year and a half. What is your own personal take on the city? Man, I just feel like the shit got potential. That's what that's that's how I feel. You feel me? I, I feel like the city got potential. You feel me for it to be a major city and not have really no major artists like that you can really you know what I mean, you can't say you can't it's a major city and you can't say nobody really didn't do did that. You get what I'm saying? And that's nobody. I ain't you know what I mean, like nobody. We talking billboards, uh, you feel me? Unless niggas, unless niggas trying to be YouTube champs and you get what I'm saying, SoundCloud champs and all that, we talking about real statistics, real plaques and some more shit. You get what I'm saying? Who did it? You get what I'm saying? Ain't nobody did it yet. You get, you get what I'm saying? Right. Somebody bring a plaque back to this motherfucker, a platinum plaque, you the man, you feel me? But so we all in, you know what I mean, the same boat. You get what I'm saying? I want a plaque, not clout. You feel me? Like that's that's how I feel. I want the plaque, bro. You feel me? I'm not gonna. You feel me? To speak on clout and some more shit. That shit's irrelevant. It don't pay. Where do you see Croft's music going? Like Croft the Wolf going in the next couple? Of, like within 2020, within 2020 itself. 2020. Mm -hmm. Oh, the shit. Up. Uh, regardless, you feel me? Regardless of the situation, but like with certain shit, it can go quicker. It can make you feel me. Let's just say niggas don't don't take this interview. You know what I mean? The wrong way. You feel me? I'm gonna get a lot of work done with a lot of people. You get what I'm saying? I plan on that. Regardless, you feel me? Some niggas gonna take it the wrong way and feel like I'm popping too much shit or I'm saying too much. You feel me? But you feel me? If I, bro, I ain't even got to working with the with a lot of artists. You feel me? So once I get to collaborating with people, getting my name more out there, I don't feel like my music gonna get denied. You know what I'm saying? Like by the masses, the people around here, the people wherever, whoever it can reach. I ain't had too many people. I ain't had nobody tell me, bruh, stop rapping. You feel me? So I feel like it got the potential to go wherever it wanna go. You feel me? It's just about me and my decision making. You know what I'm saying? And me. Also, you feel me? I, like I said, I got hella songs put out, or in hella songs sitting. You get what I'm saying? Like niggas just got make it's decision making for real, for real. You feel me? And you never know what that right decision is. This you feel me? I could wake up tomorrow on a humbug and be like, I want to drop this today, and that motherfucker go all the way up. You get what I'm saying? But I'm not banking on that. So more so, I'm just trying to plot something out and Wayne, be consistent. Wayne. You get what I'm saying? Work. Nah, I, I, it's gonna be for sure. You get what I'm saying? If you make a plan. You get what I'm saying? Where you A, B, C, D, up to Z, wherever you going to. You get what I'm saying? You just got to stick to the plan. And then when shit go astray, you got to maneuver. You get what I'm saying? And you got to keep pushing. You feel me? So I'm just trying to be consistent for real. That's that's where I see. I see 2020 being consistent. Fuck it. That's how I feel. Most artists say that they see it as a season of consistency. What are your plans on making sure that it's a season of consistency? Shit, Let's like, take, like a peep in the cross mind, see it with, with the workshop working. Shit, when you say consistency, what you saying? Consistently dropping, with, with, with always, always in the, always in the regard towards music. All right. Shit, bro, I got my own studio, I got my own camera. I can, you feel me? Put out content whenever. That I just gotta put the content out. You feel me? And like I was saying earlier, you feel me? Let people see the growth because I'll be on some more shit like. I'm gonna hold this until it's the way that I want to put it out. You get what I'm saying? Or till it's good enough for me. Where you feel me? The the natural ear probably not as good as my ear, as in music. What you get what I'm saying? 
That's why people like other music and whatever they like. You feel me? Something that you might be like, bro, that shit shitty. I ain't fucking with it. You feel me? But the next person might not might like it because you feel me? They ear just a little different to yours. You feel me? So I'm just that. That's why I'm gonna be consistent. You feel me? Because I could do it at any time. You get what I'm saying? Like that's the easiest part about it. Respect. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, respect. Yeah, yeah most nigga, I hear like, the consistency. I always hear that. I'm just like. All right, what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, That's yo, what I'm saying. Them the middle men yeah. already cut out. You, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I've been trying to get like a situation going with a videographer, bro, because I ain't going to fake it. Like, niggas got a quality camera. You feel me? I got a Panasonic GH5. You feel me? I don't know if you know what camera that is, but it's a, you know what I mean? It's a decent camera. You feel me? So I've been trying to get somewhere that where, bro, I don't know how to use that shit now, so I can't fucking videotape myself. You get what I'm saying? So I'm trying to work with somebody, you know what I mean, and work something out where, you feel me, it's beneficial for both of us. Right. You get what I'm saying? Type shit. So, it, you know what I mean? And then also, I'm trying to get somebody that got my work ethic at the same time. Because right now, you feel me? I'm doing my own everything. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm just trying to put the pieces in places, too. That's what's going to make me more consistency. If I, You know what I mean? The consistency more if I can get all these pieces in place where it take more of the pressure off me. You get what I'm saying? Where can we find you at? Shit, on Instagram. You can find me at croft, C-R-O-F-T, dot, the, dot, wolf. You feel me? And then, shit, my SoundCloud is under Ocean Dry Dreams. So, shit, on, like, all platforms, this is just J-Croft, J.C-R-O-F-T. Huh, YouTube, yeah, my YouTube, I just got a new YouTube, it's Ocean Dry Dreams, too, so. All that shit on there, too, yeah. And then if you just go Google the shit, you'll see a lot of shit up on, like, Audio Mac. I got, like, two, three tapes on Audio Mac and Spinrilla, too, so. Like, it's a bunch, bunch of shit everywhere, so. Names of the tapes? Shit, you got Are We There Yet and Control. They both on Spinrilla. Then you got 300 Miles and Venting Part 2 on um, Audio Mac. Then you got shit. I got a compilation tape, 10 a.m. in Miami and Bipolar Tendencies. That's on SoundCloud. So, yeah. So that's where you can find all the map.